This is a recap for Thursday, September 16th. In class today, we uh, worked a little bit more independently on the cami, either in new notes or just on the cami itself. So I'm going to go down to pages 5 and 6 and just make a quick answer key for those that want to check that. Uh, so here we go. So this is 10 times 3 is 30, so 6 times 3 is 18. Six, 5 times 4 is 20, 6 times 4 is 24. So these are equal creating equivalent fractions, kind of working backwards from simplifying. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that's 1 fifth. And then uh, this says just to make your own equivalent fractions, we could do 4. If we do it times 2, then 2 is 16. And then times 3 is 24 times 3 is 6, 24. Find this greatest common factor. So the list of factors of 5 are 1 and 5. The list of factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. The greatest number that's in both lists is 5. The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 1 of 2 are just 1 and 2. The greatest number in both lists is a 2. So uh, 30 and 40, the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. The factors of 40 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Let's double check that. 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. So the biggest number that is in both of these lists is the 10. So the greatest common factor is 10. 12 and 16, factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, and 16. I'm sorry, I forgot an 8. 8 and 16. The biggest number that's in both lists looks like a 4. The greatest common factor of 12 and 16 is 4. All right, write the number that divides even evenly, in, evenly into both the top and the bottom of the fraction. Then that's a 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Check to see if there's any of the numbers you can divide by. If so, repeat part A and B until the fraction is in simplest form. I believe that 1 third is the simplest. So put each of these in simplest form. That is, I'm going to do the prime factorization method. So that's 2 times 5. We have a 1 here, so that's 1 fifth. This is going to be 2 times 5, 5 times 5, so cancel out, so that's equal to 2 fifths. It's a bad 2 there, but there it is, it's 2 nonetheless. Okay, this is 3 times 3, this is 3 times 5, so cancel out, so this is 3 fifths. One is two times two. This twenty is two times two times five. Those all cancel. We've got a times one, so one fifth. Write each fraction in simplest form and tell whether or not the pair is equivalent. So again, I'm going to do ten is two times five, and thirty is equal to 5 times 6, uh, sorry, not 5 times 6, scratch that, that's a 2 times 3, so it is 2 times 3 times 5, still cancel the, now we cancel the 2's and the 5's, so that's where we get 1 third, 
So 10 thirtieths is one third. And 5 fifteenths, that's a 5. That's a 3 times 5. The 5 cancel out. There's a 1 there. So they're equivalent. So yes, they are equivalent. And 12 40 seconds. That's equal to 2 times 2 times 3. And this is equal to 2 times 3 times 7. Twos and the threes cancel out, so this is equal to two sevenths, equivalent to two sevenths. Four twenty fourths is equal to two times two. Four is two times two, and four is two times two times two times three. Those all cancel out. There's a multiply by one there, so this is equal to one sixth. So no one two sevenths does not equal one sixth. So that answer is no. So that's as far as uh, students got today was pages five and six. Uh, then uh, we worked on um, the fraction challenge, uh, which I'm not going to actually go to in this recap. Um, and so that is a recap for Thursday, September 16th.